And we come back live inside the Bill Dernan Arena in Montreal, Quebec. Our fourth game of the day, the SBS Slayers from the Montreal region taking on the Port City Alpine Pigeons from St. John, New Brunswick. This is a men's D division matchup. The Slayers, SBS in the white and the Port City Alpine Pigeons in the blue and black. And Port City with the ball down deep in SBS territory. Cleared up along the boards. Out to center he comes. Stillwell will clear it in and Port City will make a change. Cameron Contuerti in goal for the Slayers. In goal for St. John, it's Jeff Bowman's. Smallwood being chased down into the corner. Ian Smallwood, he'll leave it there for Chris Landry. Up ahead to Stillwell. Up at the blue line, they get it. To Hayward, he had it taken away. Demaray. Looking to get it to D'Alessio. And it's cleared out by Port City. Back to get it. Dussault. Dussault being chased down by Smallwood. Paul came out in front, but taken away. Pass a little bit too far. And down the floor it goes. We'll get our first whistle. 16-24 left to go first period. We play two 20-minute periods in these national championships. If you're just joining us, these are the men's B, C, and D national championships. Along with the women's B. I'm going to move the face off over to the right circle. Multiple arenas being used throughout the city of Montreal for these championships. 43 teams across the four divisions. Shot comes in wide of the goal. Chipped out by McKinney, but it's kept in. Shot was blocked, McKinney's got it again. Now he'll play back deep into his own end. Charles Sheehan. Across and up towards the blue line again. They can't get it out. Austin Peary. He'll try it the other side. Hustling over there to hold it in. D'Alessio. D'Alessio tried to get it in front. Had his stick lifted. Both players got their sticks up in the air. It's going to be a penalty. Let's see who it's going to go to. Both players. Sticks up. I'm going to say holding the stick. It's going to go to number 19 of the SBS Slayers, Michael D'Alessio. So both players went down, both sticks went up, and the referee said it's because D'Alessio had a hold of the Port City players' stick. So first power play of the game goes to Port City, the team out of St. John, New Brunswick. McNeil. They'll work it here to the near boards, down in the corner and around behind the goal, back along the boards. It's a set up. Tried to get it back to the point. The pass was picked off. Now Port City get in. Just a backhand from the outside from Austin Perry. 
Not much possession for Port City yet. The Port City Alpine Pigeons. I should have asked. I did not. <laughs> the Pigeons against the Slayers. I know how it sounds like it should end. <laughs> See how it does. Smallwood. Back at the point waiting for it. Nathan Bellavo. Kept in. Smallwood has it. Was looking for Hayward. Cleared down the floor. Bellavo played last year, I'm pretty sure, with another team out of New Brunswick. East Coast. East Coast, Northeast Coast Pub Eagles, I believe they were called. Playing with Port City this year. The other team not competing this year. A lot of new teams this year compared to those that were here last year. Some returning, some new. And a lot of teams, 43 as I mentioned in total. Belvo quickly up the floor. Got it in over the blue line. Can't get any deeper, now forced out. Good defensive play by Ryan Dussault of the Slayers. Hustling, Ryan Spence trying to get in there. Confuerte got there first, cleared it around the boards. He and the Port City player got a little tied up in behind the goal. Brought back out. Here come the Slayers is number 87, Kyle Nice. Sorry, that's Joe Scalia. Wrong team. Nice plays for Port City. Net came off. We got a whistle. No score. Quickly around the boards. On it. McNeil clears it in. Then hustling in there. Beal drops it back. Penalty is over. We are at even strength. Ball goes up in the air. Set there. Slayers come up with it first. Up through the middle. Turning back. That was Eddie Maroon. Maroon's got it again. In off the boards. A little bit too far for Phil Gentile to McNeil. McNeil dumps in right on Conferte. He'll leave it back there for Maroon. Maroon quickly up ahead. Demaray. Demaray from well outside scores! What a rocket by Demaray. Looked like he was just dumping it in. And it beats the goaltender. Cleanly over the glove. Just I don't think he expected it to come in with anywhere that kind of velocity. What a shot. One to nothing for the SBS Slayers. Here they come again, in over the blue line. Again, that was Demery. That one missed the goal. He was set up on that drop pass perfectly. Didn't get much on that one. Smallwood bringing it back in for Port City. Gets her on the outside, shot. Confuerte with the save. Nice move by Ian Smallwood. But he was contained, but beat the defenseman to the inside, to the outside. Found himself all alone on the goaltender. 
Roussel tied up in his feet. Ball rolls in towards goal put wide by Nadeau. From a sharp angle, pad save made by Bailmans. There it'll go into the SBS Slayers bench. Faceoff will stay in the Port City end of the floor. Face off one cleanly, shot right on goal. Bailman's with another pad save. Ball is cleared down the floor, racing to it. McKinney, McKinney stopping up along the boards. He's watched there by Dussault. Gets it to the near boards. Shot from a sharp angle, goes wide. McKinney's got it over along the fire boards. Dussault pins him against the boards. They do battle over there. Dussault comes up with it, chops it up ahead. Roussel, his shot, blocker save, made by Confuerte. Slayers bring it out, drop pass. They'll gain the blue line and set up over there, drop it back, Del Torto. He had it taken away. Manasseh. Up ahead, Del Torto. He's stripped of the ball. Spencer, shot. Doesn't get through. Knocked down. Pace picking up. Chirola trying to get around the outside. Good defensive play made by Roussel. Roussel down into the corner. Abrick. Abrick. Roussel. Chirola trying to get it to Scalia. Bailmans plays it behind the goal, but it already, well, whistle went. I think they're saying it had crossed the goal line before the goaltender touched it. It'll be a f well, I'm waiting to see where are they going to hold this face off. Oh, they've called a penalty. Way down behind the play. I could figure why the whistle went. The penalty happened well behind the play. It's high sticking. It's going to the Port City Alpine Pigeons. I think it's number 17, Trevor McKinney. I'm just looking down towards the goaltender to our right. But it is a penalty to the Pigeons. We've got Port City Alpine Pigeons from St. John, New Brunswick. At some point, we're going to decide what we're going to call them. <laughs> the SBS Slayers from... Players from around the Montreal region. So I think we're just going to go with Slayers and Pigeons. High sticking, that's a four-minute penalty. Stick infractions, four minutes. In the Canadian Ball Hockey Association rules. So a lengthy power play now. For the Slayers, already leading it one to nothing. Beal got to it and got it out. And that'll force the Slayers back down deep into their own end. Gentile from outside. That went off the foot of Chris Stilwell at the blue line and all the way up and out of play. Faceoff will stay outside the blue line. Slayers yet to get possession in the offensive zone. Yeah, they'll try and set up their power play. In over the blue line, but nobody in there chasing it for the Slayers at all. This should be an easy clear for the Pigeons, and it is all the way down the floor it goes. Not a well-executed zone entry that time by the Slayers. Enzo Confuerte. Confuerte. 
Now they're in over the blue line, can play it back to center and just kept on side. And Fuerte, Gentile, into the slot. Nobody there for the Slayers. Pass right onto the stick of the pigeon player. Down the floor it goes again. Minute 20 gone in this four minute power play. Nothing yet for the Slayers. And that was also a little confused in terms of getting it in over the blue line. They get it in, but don't control it. Taken away by Landry of the Pigeons. Landry on his backhand. Can't turn and shoot it. Now gets it off the boards up ahead. And McKinney sends it the rest of the way down the ice. So it's not McKinney in the penalty box, as I initially thought. It is, in fact, number 22, Zach Abrick. Demaray taking his time. Scored from out there last time, but I'd like to get something a little better, but absolutely nothing happening in terms of an entry. Flips it in. Confuerte now down in the corner gets it. Back to Demaray. Clear across. Confuerte here on the near side. Confuerte doesn't shoot it down along the side of the goal. It's put wide. On it first. D'Alessio. Out towards center. Demery had it bouncing on him, able to control, and then gave it away. Here's Nice. Nice with a chance. Nice shorthanded save is made. But he's going to draw the penalty, hooking against the Slayers. That will negate the power play. So nice came up with the ball. The blue line had a partial break. They're saying the Slayer player put his stick on Kyle Nice. He's going to go two for hooking. Doesn't agree with the call. They usually don't. Enzo Quinferte. So it's four on four right now. Pigeons with the ball. Threw it in front. Getting to it first. Smallwood. Back to the point. McIntyre. Shot right on goal. They score. May have been tipped. Player running in front. Number 24, Anderson McDonald, I think may have tipped that shot that came in from the point. Stick of the defenseman for the Slayers. Definitely could hear a tick as the ball went towards the goal. But regardless of who put it in, it's 1 1. Now here's a breakaway. Save made by Bailmans as he robs number 71 of the Slayers, whose name I don't have on my roster, clearly. <laughs> we'll see if we can find it. But what a chance and a good save by Bailmans. Smallwood with a shot from a sharp angle. Manasseh can't clear it, plays it in front of his own goal. A little bit dangerously. Good work by Stillwell to play it back in. Manasseh for the Slayers here on the near side. Dussault, he can't get it out. Stillwell. Now, the Pigeons are on the power play for the next 35 seconds. Perry into the slot, a little bit behind Smallwood. Beal, the captain, his shot whistles wide, comes off the end boards, and then sent down the length of the floor. 20 seconds to go in the power play. Chris Magi is number 71 for the Slayers. The player was missing a moment ago. That shot from a sharp angle hit a couple of players. Yeah. 
Confuerte. Enzo Quinferte. Confuerte, rather. For the Slayers. We are tied at one. Shot. Another save by Bailmans. Another save by Bailmans. He gave up one early. A bit of a weak one from almost out at center, but he's come up with some big ones since. That shot. Hit a leg. Went wide. Pressure by the Slayers now. Bailman's having to come up big. That one didn't get through. Scalia all the way around, but on the back end, then it's put wide on the rebound. Nobody was sure where it was for just a second. Backhanded out. Beal has got it. Can't progress with it. Chirola. Onside. Backhand scores. Five hole. Bailman's with two or three good saves, but a second one that I think he'd like to have back. Chirola forced to the outside. Got away a weak backhand. Beats Bailman's. Five hole and it is two to one. The timeout has been called. Two to one for the Slayers. Right after Bailman's made three or four terrific saves in a row. He let that one sneak by. 321 to go here in the first period. It's been an entertaining first period between these two teams. Dumped in by Demaray. Magi. Right in front looking for Demaray. Ball rattled around. Cleared but not out. Kept in by the Slayers. Chris Magi. Back down. Demaray. Big man. Tough to hold off. Got the pass out, but teammate. Alessio fanned on it. That will allow the Pigeons to get it down in deep. Racing onto it, Ryan Hayward. Hayward's got it, circling the goal. That goes up and out of play. Faceoff will stay in the Slayer's end of the floor. 2.38 to go. First period. Next game, 5.15. Men's D, Saskatchewan Thunder. Versus Milano's Express. Then we'll go back to the women's B group. Four more games to go after this one. Feels like we've been here a long time, but really just getting started. Through the blue line and kind of stumbling a little bit was Pat Nadeau. Outlet pass. Barnes gets it to settle. Can't get it in deep right at the blue line. Del Torto. Pass a little bit too hard for Bampos. Long shot in, but a good one by Austin Perry. And Quirty had to be quick to kick that away. McIntyre. Lofts it. Softly in behind the goal. Waiting for it, Scalia. And the Slayers will take it back behind their goal. Ball goes out of play. Faceoff will stay in the Slayers' end of the floor. Only a minute 33 to go here in our first period. This one has moved along fairly quickly.
Slayer players being waved out of the face-off circle. They'll redo it. Ryan Spencer in to take it for the Pigeons. Wins it cleanly back to Matt Boudreaux, who got away a good shot. And Fuerte with a good save. So again, a face-off to Confuerte's right. This time, face-off won by the Slayers off the boards and out over the center red line. Sheehan, they get it in over the blue line, tried to feed it in a little bit further. Comes back to Boudreaux. Now clears it into the near corner. And the Slayers come up with it. Good pass up ahead, right onto the stick of Roussel. Roussel. For Gentile. Roussel leaves it in the corner. Threw it in front, easily kicked away by Joe Scalia. They were overran the ball, shot back in by Roussel. Beal is on it, Beal right in front, save made by Confuerte. Shot put just wide. Good chance by Confuerte, Kyle Nice on the rebound. Scalia, Scalia getting away, Scalia with a partial break. Scalia can't get the shot away. There's going to be a penalty. No, it's going to be just a flooring call. Scalia calling for a penalty. As he broke in on goal, defenseman came sliding in with his stick. Scalia saying he contacted his feet and not the ball. The ball ended up going into the goaltender, Bailmans, who kicked it out. And then it was a flooring call. I saw the referee's arm go up. A little after the fact, and that's why. Memory shot. Doesn't get through. Manassas' shot goes wide, and the first period comes to an end. SBS Slayers leading the Port City Alpine Pigeons. 2-1 to one after 20 minutes of play. We'll take a two-and-a-half-minute break. That's all. And then we'll be back with the second period of this game. Stay with us. Hi. I hope you're enjoying this live stream. Would you like to webcast your next event? Want to reach a larger audience? Maybe even global? Let 360 Live show the world your story. Send us an email to hello at 360.live for more details. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to follow us on these social media sites. The Canadian Ball Hockey Association, the CBHA, is the official governing body for the sport of ball hockey in Canada. We are a full standing member of the International Street Ball Hockey Federation, the ISPHF, and proud partners with Hockey Canada. Our members come from Canadian provinces coast to coast, and we are proud to showcase our players in this national championship. And very quickly, we are indeed back for period number two. Just realized the periods are 18 minutes. I was saying 20, like I said all along. I was looking earlier and I thought, how did 
So much time go off the clock when we just started the period. It's 18 minute periods. A player for the Pigeons, Ryan Spencer's gone off holding his arm. He went down in front of the Pigeon goal. Just as play got started here in the second. Quickly swinging it up ahead, unable to get to it. Confuerte a little bit slow coming out. Defenseman was yelling at him to come out and play. He likes to cover it up. Discretion being the better part of Valor with the Pigeons captain bearing down on him. That's Nick Beal. Face off one by the Slayers. Cleared away. Back down the floor it goes. And that will be a flooring call against the Pigeons here early in the second period. Shot from a sharp angle goes wide, picked up over there by Perry, and he rips it wide as well. Here on the other side, Scalia. Tried to make a move at the blue line, was stopped up, but following up on it, where the Slayers can't get it in deep. Long shot from outside goes wide of the goal from Perry. Manasseh back behind his goal to Maroon, back to Manassan. He's gotta be careful. Gets it out as far as center and it hops over the stick of Sheehan. Then it goes up and out of play.
Pigeons bring it in. It's number 22, Zach Abrick. He lost it. Taken away. Chris Magi. Knocked down by McGuire. Teammate couldn't touch it. Would have been a hand pass. Nice. And it's cleared out over the blue line. McGuire gets the return pass. McGuire off the boards. Looking for Beal. Beal got a stick on it. Tipped it in. Kyle Nice on it first for the Pigeons. Nice. Maintaining possession. Kyle Nice back at the point. That shot was blocked. Landry let it go. Back come the Slayers. Chris Magi trying to get to it. He is stopped by Landry. Ball bouncing around. Nobody could find it right away. Now the Pigeons have it. Try and slide it in front. Goes off a stick up and out of play. And down the floor it goes, out to play it. Bailman's head to Landry. Bellavo. Bringing it in was Hayward. Hayward cutting for the front of the goal. Conferte knocked it away. Backhand pass. But they had a chance to shoot it. Anderson McDonald elected to pass it. To Hayward went into the corner, not of the goal. Which is, I'm sure, the preferred result for McDonald. Instead of went into the corner harmlessly. That's dumped in. Gentile off the boards. Maroon back to Gentile. Stopped at center. Cleared in by D'Alessio, then he'll head to the bench. Back to get it, McIntyre. Over to the other side, Stillwell. Stillwell gave it away, brought right back in. Onside, Gentile, the shot scores as he makes the pass over to Anthony Gentile. Bad giveaway, Feel. To Anthony, two Gentiles team up on that one. And it is now three to one, but a terrible giveaway right inside the blue line. So now the Pigeons out of St. John find themselves in a bit of a hole down three to one with just over 11 minutes to go here in the second period. Kept in on a good play by Dussault. And behind the Pigeons goal, Austin Perry. To McKinney. McKinney, Perry heading for the front of the goal, couldn't get a stick on it. And now it's cleared out. They're saying it was tipped that Sheehan got a stick on it as it went by. So he's got to go back into his own end, retrieve it. And again, it was touched over in the far side, so play will continue. Dussault, Manasseh. Stopped at center, 
Kept in, at least momentarily, by the Pigeons. Now it's brought out, Del Torto. Nadeau with a shot, save made by Bailmans. He'll hold on to it. Fuerte with the save. And he kind of stumble a little bit in the crease. Ball comes out in front. Colin Duncan, again, off a stick, up and out of play. It'll stay in the Slayers' end of the floor. 9.41 is the time remaining. It did touch the mesh, says the referee. The ball went out of play. Do the face off again down to the right of Cameron, Cameron Confuerte in goal for the SBS Slayers. Three to one, they lead it. Flip pass down the floor. Demaray running onto it. Shot comes across, or pass came across, and the shot came in from D'Alessio. Had a stick tied up just a little bit, didn't get a whole lot on it. And the save was made by Bailmans. Face off one by the Pigeons. Good play at the blue line by Haddad to hold it in for the Slayers. Play continues. Haddad threw up his hands like you're not going to call a penalty. They don't. And the Slayers score. And I tell you, the Pigeons are not happy. Even the Slayers player thought he was getting a penalty on that one. Haddad. Throw up his hands like, oh, no, we're not, oh, you're not calling a penalty. And then they score. Bellavo gave it away, kept in, Scalia, Scalia down into the corner. Scalia, holding the ball against the boards. Eight and a half to play. Taken away by McDonald. Right up through center, was trying to get it to Ian Smallwood, that didn't work. Brought back in, Anthony Gentile. Shot from outside, Bailman saw it all the way. He's got it in the trapper, we'll hold on to it. Faceoff will be to the right of Jeff Bailmans, goaltender for the Port City Alpine Pigeons. Faceoff won by the Slayers. Dusalt throws it down into the far corner.
Chris Stillwell back behind his goal. Hokes it over to his teammate, Sean McIntyre. McIntyre up through the middle, gets it onto the stick of Brandon Burns. Burns through the blue line and over, and this time it will be a penalty. Chris Magi is going to go. Tripping. One last gasp here for the Pigeons. They can get one on the power play and cut it to a two-goal lead. It'll still be time, 7.42 remaining. Right off the faceoff, it's sent down the floor, so that'll help kill some time. Austin Perry to Nick Beal. They get it in over the blue line. No, they're saying they did not. Well, I guess they did. I thought the referee indicated did not. They're now in the offensive zone. Beal with it. Like to get it back to him. Beal. Now they'll try the far side. Perry. Back to Beal. One timer. Off a leg into the corner. Ball is picked up by the Slayers and cleared the length of the floor. Just one minute to go in the power play. Shot off the end boards. Conferti not going to take any chances. We'll cover that up. We'll take the face off. Content to have the face off in his own end rather than give up a scoring chance. Barnes won the face off cleanly for the Pigeons. Beliveau towards the goal. Again, off a stick in front. Off the stick of one of the Slayers players. The <laughs> faceoff will stay in their end of the floor. Down to 47 seconds to go in the man advantage for the Pigeons. And this time, the Slayers win the faceoff. Once again, send it down the floor. Killing some more time. Belovo off the boards, reaching for it. Good play by McDonald. Back to Belovo. Over the far side. Smallwood, shot, scores! Confuerte got a piece of it. But Smallwood shot finds the back of the goal. And it's now 4-2. to Still 6-0-4 to go. Not over yet. Four two. Six minutes to go. Spencer. To Duncan, he stopped. Scalia got it up ahead. Magi. Rung hard around the boards. Touched somebody over on the Pigeons bench. So that face-off will stay right there. <laughs> Kept in by the Slayers. Magi looking for it. Knocked away from him by Roussel. Back into the corner. Magi knocked down as he started heading towards the boards. Two players have it pinned against the boards. 
Finally comes loose and lifted down a little bit deeper by Joe Scalia. We'll get a whistle. Players will change up. We're down to 5.05 to go. It's 4.52 here in Montreal. Another game coming up at 5.15. It's not going to be much time between this game and the next. It's going to be a quick turnaround. Another men's D game, Saskatchewan Thunder to take on Milano's Express. Pigeons win the faceoff. Beal tried to tip it to himself. That was read nicely by Maroon, who kept it in. Demaray, backhand, save made by Bailmans. He'll hold on to it. Slayers player tripped up at its center, wanted a penalty call. There wasn't one. Ball right in front of the Pigeons goal. Bailman's covers it up. And we'll get yet another whistle. McDonald tried to move it out. And it's cleared down the floor. Players racing back. Demeray will get there first. He's looking for Dussault. A little bit too far for him. Kicked back in behind the goal. Stolen away. Shot save made by Confuerte. Staying on it. Smallwood. Let's play back behind the goal by Del Torto. Along the boards, Demeray takes his time. It's it up ahead to D'Alessio. Make sure he gets over center and then clears it in. Two goal lead for the SBS Slayers. Magi. And the left side, watched by McIntyre. Magi and McIntyre go to the boards. Coming in to help out Katsarinthus. And they'll hold it against the boards. That's wristed in from the blue line. The save was made. The rebound lay there for a moment, but the Pigeons clear it. Bring it out, Trevor McKinney. McKinney in over the blue line. McKinney winding up, slap shot. That hit the goal post. That close to making it a one goal game. McKinney reaching for it. It's cleared, but into the Slayers players bench. The faceoff will stay in their end of the floor. What a chance for McKinney. So he came in off that right side. The shot hit the near goal post, came out the other side, but stayed out. Here's McKinney again. In over the blue line. McKinney's got it. Tried to feed it back. Knocked down Maroon for the Slayers. Eddie Maroon. Stopped smartly over there by Chris Landry. Landry got it ahead to Perry. Backhanded in. 
Captain Fuerte not going to take any chances. Again, covers it up. He has preferred to do that throughout the game as opposed to come out and play the ball. You have to do what you're comfortable with as a goaltender. Quickly up the floor. That was Enzo Confuerte. Ball rolls into Bailman's. He'll cover it up. Get yet another whistle. A lot of whistles here in the second period. Time slowly ticking away. We've got another game coming up in just 17 minutes. Long shot wide of the goal. Kept in by Chirola, and then it gets past him. Quick outlet pass, but nobody over here on the right side for the Pigeons. Chirola. D'Alessio, shot on goal. Bailman hang, Bailman's rather hangs on. Second period hasn't been long enough. They're going to call a timeout. Port City Alpine Pigeons trailing it 4 2, minute 45 left to go. One of the things no, that they're discussing is about the possibility of. Getting Bailman's out of the net, but the faceoff is in their end. So first order of business is to try and win the faceoff. Right from the face off, the shot by Shirola just went wide. Bailman's sprinting for the bench. They don't get it out over center. It's dumped in. They score. Michael D'Alessio with the empty netter. That didn't take long. He made the one stretch pass up towards center. D'Alessio picked it off and calmly flipped it into the empty net. And that will do it. Five to two. McDonald, shot off a leg, goes to the fire boards. Scalia couldn't get it deep, but the Slayers maintained possession. Del Torto, shot off the end boards. Ball goes up and out of play. First period seemed to move fairly quickly between these two teams, but the second period, not so much. Spencer had it taken away. Confuerte 
Lost it. Chance right in front. Another one off the goal post. Great chance there, 36 seconds to go in the period. Zach Abrick was set up at the empty net and rang it off the post. Face off one by the Slayers. Can't get it out, kept in. Matt Brodeau. Boudreau rather, need my own printer. Another shot, goes wide, 15 seconds to go. Back behind the goal, Dussault. Takes it out in front over to the boards. Chip back in and that'll do it. They'll just hold the ball back there. Folks, we've got another game coming up in less than 15 minutes time. We are gonna step aside very quickly. Final score here, the SBS Slayers win their game by a score of five to two. Back in just a few minutes with our next game. <laughs> 